Hi there, and welcome to OmniSend Academy. Now I know that you're busy and don't have a lot of time, so let's jump right in. Designing and sending your first email campaign. To start, go to Campaigns, click New Campaign, and select Email. One of the most important first steps here is coming up with a catchy subject line, something that is going to get people excited to open and read what's in this email. Adding an emoji won't hurt, and for more great subject line ideas, feel free to browse our blog. Next, enter your brand's name so that people know who this email is from, write a pre-header to give a teaser of what this email is going to be about, and give the campaign an internal name. Your customers will not see it anywhere. Finally, for your most important announcements and best offers, the Campaign Booster is a great option. It is going to resend your email to contacts who do not open it within 48 hours with another subject line, increasing their chances to open. The next step is going to take you to our wide selection of standard and themed templates. This is also where you're going to find your saved templates. More on that later. For now, browse through these to get some inspiration and select the one that you want to start with. Now the next step is the email editor. It's drag and drop, no coding involved, and is made up of various content blocks, which you can easily reposition, customize, delete, and add from the right here. Let's look at some of the most useful ones. The discount content block is great whenever you want to share a discount with your customers. If your store is on Shopify or BigCommerce, a unique code is going to be randomly generated for every single contact. If not, you'll be able to create one manually. For our first campaign, to celebrate, let's surprise all of our customers with $5 off their next purchase. Feel free to also remind them every now and then of some of your best-selling products using the Product Recommender. This content block saves a lot of time and manual labor because it fills itself up automatically as soon as the email is sent. Whenever something new comes out, just change the type setting to newest products and it will help you always keep your customers in the loop. Finally, if you want more control over the products you're showing, the product picker is another serious time saver. It will allow you to select and pull products from your e-commerce store directly into the email. Pick as many as you like, and they will appear in a separate content block right away. Now the rest of the content is where you are going to have to take over. Every business and its customer base are so unique that there could never be a one-size-fits-all method for writing emails. Just don't forget that your customers are real human beings too. So make sure that whatever you're writing is actually interesting and engaging, something that you yourself would like to receive. So crank up your imagination and creativity, write some good copy, and if you need a little extra inspiration, Pinterest and reallygoodemails.com are very helpful resources. Once you're finished with the content, the next major step is the design. To give you an easier start, we've put together a bunch of design themes for you. So browse through them, see if you like anything, and then click Customize. This will allow you to change pretty much anything inside of this email and really make it look perfect. Your number one guideline when doing this is making sure that your email looks like it's coming from your brand. If your store looks like this, then the current design won't cut it. It looks too generic and the style doesn't match the style of your store at all. Now this one, on the other hand, looks much more sophisticated. You can see that the colors, fonts, and all other design elements go perfectly in line with what you have on your store. So take your time, put together a stunning design, and then, very important, save it. You will now be able to apply this same design to all of your future emails in just one click. Now, finally, before moving forward, make sure to preview the email on both desktop and mobile. And also send a test email to yourself to confirm that it really looks great. If it does, the last thing is to save this email as a template. This is once again to save time going forward because you will be able to start every new campaign from here instead of from ground zero. As you can see, it is now immediately available in the template selection step under saved templates. Now the next second to last step of sending your first campaign is to select the contacts who you're going to send it to. In case you haven't imported your contact list yet, no worries, just click save and exit and go do it. All of your progress is going to be saved and you'll be able to continue right from where you left off once you're back to this campaign. 
Now, since this is your first email campaign and you most likely don't have any engagement data yet that you could use for segmentation, it is okay to send to your entire list. You might not see a great open rate this time, but remember, Rome wasn't built in a day. So in the next video, we're going to look into how to segment your audience, which on average doubles email open rates. And finally, the last step is to review everything, select whether to send the campaign now or at a scheduled time, and confirm. Congratulations, you've just sent your first email campaign using OmniSend. Now, since this is your first campaign, there's a chance that it might be paused for campaign verification for 30 to 60 minutes. Nothing for you to worry about, just be aware it's done to protect your sender's reputation and ensure good deliverability of your campaign. So, in other words, it's a great chance to take a break and celebrate your first win. Make yourself a cup of coffee, unwind, and by the time you're back, the campaign is going to be through.